If you're like me and you use OpenOffice, you may have noticed that the writer application has problems with the spell checker. I've looked online for a solution to this, but I can't find anything that works. Even on the forum, where we get some tips and suggestions on how to fix this, they still don't take care of the problem for the spell checker tool. So this led me to create a workaround which I'd like to share with you on this video. To start, I want to just show you a few things on their website and then we'll get into the ways that we can repair or f get the spell checker working again. If you go to openoffice.org, on their homepage it shows us the current version. As of today, it's 4.1.7. Here's a link to download the entire OpenOffice suite. If we click that, it'll let us check the language that we prefer as well as the version that we want to install. Online, some people claim that there's some older versions that work with the spell check tool. I haven't explored this yet. Feel free to do so on your own until you find one that works. I know that 4.1.6 does not. If you have not installed OpenOffice yet, you can do so here with this link. And when you do, it'll give you the option to make a shortcut on your desktop. Since this isn't an install video, we're just going to get right into how to get the spell checker working. If you use the shortcut on your desktop to open the Office Suite, we're going to open the Writer application by clicking New Text Document, and I'm going to write out a test sentence for the spell checker. So you can see testing and spell are correct, but I misspelled checker pretty badly. The red wavy lines are this auto spell check feature, and it's identifying correct words as incorrect. Even if we go to the actual spell checker here, it's showing us testing's misspelled, but it doesn't even give us a suggestion to fix it. Even if we ignore that, it shows also spell is misspelled as well as checker here, but no suggestions to fix it. So we'll close this out and get into what the forum tells us to do to fix this problem. Because if you were like me, you typed out a big long paragraph and every word that you typed was coming up as a error. So the forum says that we go to tools, come down to options, we need to expand the language settings and go to language first. Here on our language of choice, we should see an ABC with a checkmark symbol that indicates that our computer has installed the, the correct language package that we want to use. If you do not see this here, the forum tells us that you need to reinstall that language pack. And you can do so by going back to the website where we saw the main install link. And next to it, you can choose, well, first you would select the language of choice, and then you can choose to just download the language pack. Once that's done, if you restart your computer, that should take care of your problem. When you go back here, you'll want to check to see that you have this ABC with a checkmark symbol. Now, if you're like me and that was already there, or when you reinstall and it's there and you still have a problem with your spell checker, the next step the forum tells us is to go to writer aid, Writing Aids and make sure that Hunspell Spell Checker is selected. If it's not, the spell checker can't work. So if that's empty, go ahead and select that field, restart the writer application, and that should take care of your problem. But if you're like me and all these things were already normal, then we'll get right into the workaround that I've created that'll help you fix this up. So we go to Edit. We're going to click on Get More Dictionaries Online. This is a shortcut to an extension search on OpenOffice's website. And here we're going to type US English Spell Checking Dictionary or the equivalent for the language that you're looking for. If we scroll down, we're going to select US English Spell Checking Dictionary and we're going to download this extension. It's important when you download this that you want to save this extension because we're going to use it when we open Office Writer from now on. So click Download Extension and save that. I've already done this. I'm going to go ahead and close out this test document. So you've downloaded the extension. This will end up in your files, specifically under Downloads. 
you'll find that new extension. And we're going to want to send this to the desktop by right clicking, go down to Send To, Desktop, and we're going to create a shortcut there. I've already done this as well, but once you've clicked Desktop Create Shortcut, it'll end up somewhere here on your desktop. You'll want to locate that. And let's go ahead and right click on it so that we can rename it. I've chose to rename this Open Office Writer 417 just so it's easier for me to locate. As I said, part of the workaround, this is what we're going to use now every time you want to open Office Writer. So when we double click this shortcut, it opens the Extension Manager as well as Office Writer. And each time from now on when we open Office Writer, we're going to have to install this extension. So for me, the computer's telling me that I've already installed this. Click OK to replace it. That's what we're going to have to do every time we open Office Writer, and you'll see just how quick this happens. So as quick as it installs, you can just close that out. And you can see now that the correct words are not coming up as errors, only the word that I intentionally misspelled. We can come up to the Spell Checker tool. Again, it's not identifying correct words, only the misspelled, and it's giving us a suggestion to fix it, which we can come over and change. Spell check's complete. Now your tool has been restored to where it'll do exactly like you want. Uh, nothing else is impaired with this. You can still save files, um, open files, use all the other features. The only uh, part of this workaround you're going to have to remember is each time you open Office Writer, you have to use this new shortcut that we created. Otherwise, if you go back to the original shortcut for Open Office, the spell checker tool is going to go back to the way it was. I hope you found this helpful. As for me, this is a simple fix that I have no problem using. If you like the video, please like it below as well as subscribe if you want to see more. I appreciate you watching. Thanks and have a good day.